Yo, what is up everyone? And welcome back to another Dark Souls 3 Convergence mod run. So when I originally played the Convergence mod, it's, it's close to a year ago I suppose at this point since I visited it. Uh, I decided it was time to run back into another mod run since the Dark Souls online servers are currently offline while they work out the issues. And the Convergence mod seemed like it had the most changes. So when I last played, they actually had quite a lot of classes to choose from. Seems like that's still the case. <laughs> Some of these definitely... Wait, where's the top even? Oh my god. Did it always have this many? I remember it having a lot, but this seems like a quite a lot. I forget what I even chose in my first run. Oh, I think I was an air romancer. That's right. I started with the air. So when we're starting off with our classes here, what is this? The Witch Hunter. Also, I want to try to use things that I haven't used in my original playthrough, so I'm going to do my best to use like different spells, different weapons that I find. This, what is this? Blood Guard. That looks like a straight sword falchion. And a great axe, possibly. I like the armor, though. That looks pretty good. <laughs> These look so similar, but... uh. Is that a casting tool, maybe? It looks like it comes with blood magic right off the bat. Got only 9 strength, though, so he's more of a dex build, to be honest. But he's got good int and faith. His endurance is okay. Vigor is not the best. But I don't want to choose like just a pure physical build for you guys, because then I don't get to showcase all of the magic, you know? Do the blood guard. Are we good with blood guard, chat? Yeah, we'll, we'll go with this, sure. We'll try it out. Fashion souls. What do we call them, though? You guys think of a name? I'll make it uh, a waifu. Do I have my appearances saved on this? Nice! Should we give her red hair? I'll just save it to favorites. I kind of like that combination. We'll call her Scarlet. Sure. Okay. That's decent. We'll go with that. Alright. Oh, damn. Okay. Looking really different, actually. The visual effects look different. The lighting is different, too. Oh, what? Life Hunt Blade? It's like a... Okay, actually, I wanted to test that just to see how much health I regen from it. Okay, well, I regen, but it's it's minimal. It's a minimal regen. So I'm going to try to use that just to... It also missed there a little bit. Oh, I'm out of FP, I see. I was confused. Oh, this thing has a unique move set. It's like a, it's like a halberd, mixed with a great axe. Like the starting attack animation is basically a halberd, but the follow-up, very different. That's pretty cool. It's two H. It's two percent. Oh, okay. Actually, yeah. We should. I wonder if I can read the spells just to know exactly what they do. Conjure a blood blade, dealing dark damage. You gain one percent HP on every successful hit. And be the caster with the power of blood. Oh, okay. Vampirism was uh, something I used later on in the first playthrough I did of this a year ago. It, it slowly drains HP from things around you. Until he went and did an R2 with it. Okay, let's just cast Vampirism and then see how much it actually heals us and hurts them around me. Okay. So it's not really doing that much damage, but it's still be regening me. And it's like a slow damage over time type of thing, you know? That's pretty cool. I don't know how long it's going to last, but... Okay. I like it. It's like... What, 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 oh, backstab? I was wondering what type of backstab animation this would have. Cool. This thing probably has a weapon art, too. Um, Let's go find an enemy to test it on. They're really slow, and honestly, their slow cast throws me off. Oh! That's pretty cool. What? It's almost like a, a gun deer charge at the end, but... Yeah, let's bring this one this way. I want to see what his two-handed moveset is like. Like it's two-handed R1. Okay. Murky Sediment. I remember using those to upgrade or like imbue dark weapons. Oh, it's like the... <laughs> That's pretty cool, honestly. It's not OP or anything. It's, it's a little slow, but like it, it targets multiple things around you. Well... There's crystals here, so that's quite the sign. Can I just L1 with this? Oh yeah, I can. It's still just a straight sword. Okay. It doesn't only cast, but it can cast. Alright, well, we'll get our vampirism going. 
Just so if we do take a hit, it'll be okay. Slow damage over time. Boom! Yeah, I was expecting it to expel those. Nice. Okay. Titanite scales. Nice. We still have the normal boss type weapon upgrades. Is it back here? Oh, it's because it's hidden by the crystals. Ah. Uh. Oh, Estus Shard. Nice. Oh, shit. Okay. Dodge into bum. I haven't gotten butt in a little while. Dark Souls is offline. <laughs> but this, the, the lighting and stuff, I like how it gives it like a, a fiery type aura at the beginning here. What's this? Oh, there's my Ash and Estus. Yeah. I was wondering why we didn't have that yet. Actually, what's up our ring do? Increases all dark damage. I'm guessing our blood magic counts as dark damage then. Um, we didn't even use any Estus, did we? Wow, okay. Not bad, not bad. I kind of want to see the damage on the straight sword, just to see. Okay. Not as quite as powerful as the magic, obviously. Oh! Alright, so... <laughs> things seem weak. <laughs> <laughs> Until you get hit by them. I think I got hit by a lot of the fireballs right there. <laughs> God damn, brother. That shit almost two shot me. I'm not a huge fan of your fireballs, sir. They hurt. They hurt dearly. Basically a glass cannon until we level our HP. Let's go check down here. Oh wait, maybe I should rest at the bonfire too to get the emote if they still kept the rest emote as the thing there. Come here, boys. I wonder if I can just like tank him off the cliff with this. <laughs> I kind of expected that. That's funny. Got perseverance going on here. Oh, I figured a walting was coming actually. I didn't expect it, but I was hoping it wouldn't ting off the wall. <laughs> Ooh, magic urn, okay. Kya! Kya! Big boy number one, you think we can tank him? That probably would have killed me, to be honest. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the vampirism slowly heals you. Same with the, the life on blade. I, okay, well, it's definitely not Gundir. Oh, Basically the Pontiff Beast early. I wonder if it'll one-shot me. I'm pretty decent at fighting the Pontiff one, but I don't know if they changed this thing's moveset at all. Yikes. I'm gonna take that as a no, they haven't. I want to cast my Vampirism, but I hope he doesn't just kill me. Okay. That would be an instant death. All right. <laughs> all right, note to self, cast before I go into the fight. I wasn't expecting the dog, which is me right now. There's no ember, but maybe we can throw on vampirism. You know, try to not get one shot. Get our soul back. I like being up close with it. Yeah, it's a lightning attack would be nice. Thank you. Oh, it's kind of, it's kind of squishy. I was playing at it as if it was super tanky. Not the eat move. Anything but the breakfast dinner. Jesus. Okay, we'll actually use this. Hang on, we gotta bait an attack out to heal the heal. <laughs> okay. Woo! I think that would kill us one shot, yeah. Oh, perfect. Okay. Not too bad. You just gotta not get hit. <laughs> oh, yes! That's right. This unlocks. In, in the original mod, you'd unlock this uh, area where you can refight bosses. Pretty cool, actually. I think that's a nice little addition. Um, but we haven't. Uh, we only have this boss, so we can't use it yet. Nice, nice. And we got our rest emote. The music is different in the latest one. Hmm. Oh, I'm not sure how it would just miss the music, though. <laughs> I mean, everything else is in, right? So. 
That's interesting. Hang on, let's just clear this real quick and then... I don't know, it doesn't seem to be a problem with anything else. Ah uh, yeah, the Dark Souls servers are still down, yes, sadly. Yeah. Oh. Too bad I don't one-shot these things. Kua! 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 Ember. No dog bosses, please. Okay, there we go. We fight the NPC, but first we vampirism. Because we are squishy. Alright, buddy. Will you one-shot me? Find out. Active poise, no! Not active poise, my least favorite thing. <laughs> Random weapon art! Smash! Did I set it W for Wumbo? <laughs> okay. All the other audio seems good though right now. So it's really weird that that boss is just missing it. If the next one's missing it, I'll just try to quickly re-put it in the files, I suppose. Man, is it ever bright in here, but like in a, like a gray bright? I don't know, it's weird. Or maybe is it because I have shadows off? Ah! <laughs> ah, is this better? <laughs> this is what it's supposed to look like? <laughs> I had shadows off. Yeah, that's right. Th is this normal to you guys now? This looks really good. <laughs> this looks very good. <laughs> okay. I was like, I think I took out my fire recolors. I was really trying to remember, but... Okay. Alright, so what do we got here? We got the Uchi Katana. I don't think I'll be using that. I, I like our current setup. Did we find any Estus shards? Not on Titanite scale. Hang on, one thing I want to check quick, actually. Okay, uh, well, I'll stream this part today, and if there's no other issues, I'll still do a clean install of it for the second stream. Just because, like, at the moment, a little bit of music change isn't the worst. All the other audios seem good. Oh, it still does have Titanite shards. This is what the starting area was supposed to look like. Ah! You know what, it's honestly not that different for this area, okay? For the Firelink Shrine, it was it was a pretty vast difference, yes. <laughs> Let's go to the High Wall of Lothric. <laughs> 